Get up, get out, get around, and do it, do it! Hey, what's going on, guys? How's everybody doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. No, we have no cycling videos today. Leave me alone. Kidding. But no, we don't have cycling today. It's rainy out there, and it was iffy in the morning. It's iffy now and all that. I ain't going out there. I'm not struggling with it. Not really giving a poo right now about riding. Right now, I'm sitting down for dinner. Mikey. Mikey, son. My friend. What are you having for dinner? My beautiful friend. This is what I'm having. Let's take a look, see, guys. A little bit of shrimp. Some cocktail sauce. Now, is that all I'm going to have? I don't know. That's what I'm having right this second. Just regular zesty cocktail sauce. I've also put some Louisiana hot sauce in there and some oh, crushed red pepper flakes. Put that in there. I'm out of that really good hot sauce that I had. Now, if you watched a couple of my videos on my last of my food videos and stuff, you'll, you know I had some really good hot sauce. I'm out of it. And I'm sad. But at least I have some Louisiana. Hmm. And it's all good. I also put a little bit of garlic powder in there. Just a little. And one little of some Italian seasoning. I don't know. Just thought I'd do something. It's good though. Tastes good. Then you mix it up real good too. Don't forget to mix it up, guys. Well, I finally took the leap. I've been I've been looking into online storage for years. Yeah, all kinds of them. There's all kinds of options out there, guys. And I've been using uh, Google Drive, the free version. I've been using that to store just uh, some random stuff like my t-shirt kind of designs and uh, just uh, uh, the folders that I have my bicycle rides in, uh, like my maps and my mileage that I do, that you see me post sometimes in my videos. I have all those backed up and everything from the first day I started riding. But, late last night I went ahead and I pulled the trigger. I've been back and forth for years and years on what I'm going to do, what do I need to do. So I went ahead and got the, just the 200 gigabyte uh, paid version. It's $3 a month. I'm tired of struggling in my brain over three dollars a month so I went ahead and pulled the trigger a 200 gigabyte isn't a lot uh, so I'll probably likely upgrade a little bit down the road um, I've got all my stuff backed up on two external little USB drives and I have everything on my laptop hard drive and Pretty much all my pictures are backed up on Facebook and some of the some videos and all that, but uh, you can't you can never have too much backup. So right now the Google Drive isn't for my YouTube video storage; it's just for my personal videos and personal uh, pictures and stuff like that. You know, home movies vacation trips you know different uh, video stuff like that and then of course all the photos um, I've been doing digital photos since like 1999 uh, my first my first digital camera was a Fujifilm MX 1200 
came out in 1999. I still got it. And from there, 2004, I got my first digital SLR, which was a Canon, uh, which was a Canon 300D. Then, 2007, I got the Nikon D50. And then like 2008 or something, I got the Panasonic KX10D or whatever the heck it was called. That was a really good camera. Built like a tank. I can't remember the, the name. I got it wrote down somewhere. And then... And when we moved to Las Vegas... Well, and then I got another digital camera. Maybe 2009 or 2010, I got a little... Some kind of little Canon point and shoot kind of deal. I don't remember the name. And then whenever we moved to Las Vegas, eventually I bought the uh, Nikon 300 or D300, whatever the heck it is. D300, it's what I got right now. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, It's, it's still a good camera, but it's definitely showing its age. Um, it's a 10-year-old camera. came out in 2010, and I think I got mine in like 2012 or something like that. 2012, 13, I don't remember. It was definitely showing its age. Unfortunately. So I need a new camera. I think the Panasonic, Panasonic, whatever I said, was a KX10D, it wasn't a Panasonic, Pentax, I think it was, was a Pentax K10 or X, something, whatever, I don't know, there's a good camera. So I've been taking digital photos for a long time guys 20 years I want to say 20 years plus we have lots of family photos and that you know from film that I've scanned over and you know made digital so you know doing taking pictures and videos nowadays is a whole lot different than it was 20 years ago 25 years ago 50 years ago a whole different ball game you know we're all carrying around this all the time and uh, we're taking pictures by the hundreds a month videos and pictures and videos and pictures so they're adding up, you know, they add up quick. And that's a good thing. I think it's amazing, you know, how many pictures and videos that we can do now. And it's and it's not a bother. It's just there. It's right at our hands. Boom, right there. Where, you know, you don't have to get out a big SLR, a digital SLR, or even a point and shoot. You don't have to get out a big bulky uh, VHS camcorder. You don't have to get out one of the little betas or whatever they're called, you know, the little smaller camcorders. You don't have to do any of that anymore. It's just a cell phone. And some of those cell phones take better pictures and videos than... Uh, video cameras and cameras that cost twice as much well what if you blow them up to 20 by 30 or 11 by 17 well most people aren't blowing up their pictures that big and most people don't even print so what's the matter
don't really matter anymore. We don't really print all that often. We just share on, you know, on the internet. Which I guess is fine. Nothing wrong with that. It's amazing how far we've come with stuff. It's insane. I sit, I sit and I think about that and I'm, I so wish that we would have had this kind of technology, this kind of ease, this knowledge and everything, you know, 50 years ago, 100 years ago, 500 years ago, the things that we could see and know, the family that, that you would see the you know your ancestors the, the your surroundings and everything you know you could just have videos and pictures you don't you don't have that you know it, it was very rare I'd love to I'd love to have you know videos and pictures of that quality and quantity from that many years ago just to see everything real really see it'd be so amazing just seeing my mom running around as a little kid a grandma it'd be crazy So anyways, back on the Google Drive thing, I'm still, it's still uploading, it's been uploading since last night, and right now I'm at, let me refresh here, I'm at 71.1 gigabytes uploaded. Now my main picture folder has like 108 gig, so... taken a while but when it's done it's done it'll be really cool to just have all my pictures and videos and stuff right there in the palm of my hand go to my Google Drive hey look I can clear all the stuff off my phone off the memory card not clog it up and slow my phone down that'll be great Should have done this ten years ago. Years ago, back when I started photography, 2004-ish, uh, with my real photography, I went to I, I used to use Photo Bucket just to kind of upload a lot of my photos and store stuff on there. But they've since went to crap, and I could barely even get my pictures off of there. Um, they just really, they kind of held them hostage. Not that I really needed them, it's just, you know, and I used to back up on CDs for years. I still have spindles of CDs with stuff on them. And then I went to DVDs of course because they hold more information but that's just not even an option when you start getting that many that that many files that much gig <laughs> just so much stuff it's just not even worth it and sure you could go to blue to blu-rays but Honestly, I don't even think it's worth that. I mean, you can still buy uh, optical drives, but I mean, eventually they're going to be phased out. 
You know, you can't even hardly buy a, a desktop computer or a laptop with a optical drive anymore. Sometimes they're add-ons. Blows my mind. I like I like physical media because you have it. You got it right there. So that is I think it's kind of it's a love hate relationship and that's how a lot of people are with it. With uh with digital distribution and all that. The movies and TV and stuff like that that's all going uh, basically just digital. I mean, video game systems, more people are, are doing it digital, you know, downloading than ever before. Won't be long, they're going to totally be just online. No more physical media. It's crazy. Who would have thunk? Who would have thunk it would have went that way? It's weird. Only thing I don't like is having to depend on having the internet. You know, they make it to where you're dependent. I love this kind of shrimp. Just simple, you know, cooked, peeled, deveined, mostly deveined, but uh, yeah, it's good stuff. Well, I don't know how things are in your neck of the woods with the with the old COVID or anything, and. Things are pretty much getting back to normal here. You still have some crazy people out there that's crying and moaning over everything, but you know, you can't stay hunkered up in your house forever. And unless you're wearing a full hazmat suit, walking into a room and being quarant and being disinfected. And then coming out of your clothes and then disinfecting everything you touch. And, but unless you're doing the extremes, those masks and gloves ain't doing nothing. They ain't doing nothing. And I don't need a scientist or a doctor to tell me whether they are or not. I know. You can see. They ain't doing nothing. I'm ready to just get stuff back to normal. Supposedly, as of right now, school's starting back to normal time. They like to call it fall. See you next fall. It's not fall. We're starting, we're going back in like August 3rd. Hey, fall. That's the hottest part of the summer. No, I'm not going to complain. We've been out. We've been off work like since mid, early March. Not complaining. And I get paid the whole time, so not complaining. But I think things are going to be a little different. I think going to be some. Something, something's going to change <laughs> as far as the way buses are done and school's done and we'll see. Well, this past weekend, past Saturday on the 20th, 
June 20th, had my youngest granddaughter, her first birthday. Had a good time, had a bunch of family over and, and people I don't even know, so. Had a bunch of people over, had like 40 something people. We had a good time. Big cookout and cornhole and lawn darts going on and horseshoes and badminton and trampolines and water slides or slip and slides. Big squirt gun things. I don't know. There was a lot going on. I just did the cornhole. That's what she said. I did go for a ride, bicycle ride that day in the morning. And I haven't been on one since, so it's Sunday, Monday, so it's two days. I ain't sweating it. Not sweating it, guys. I don't know about any of you out there. We're still waiting on our income tax. It's still processing. Now we always file electronically in the past probably four years I've been doing it myself on TurboTax but for 2019 taxes uh, I did I, I made a mistake I didn't put in our new insurance information and stuff so it got denied and I had to correct things I didn't know how to do any of that so I printed off the papers. I found a lady that would help me. Sorry. She helped get things all done. And she tried to fax everything in, but the fax wasn't working. It wasn't picking up, whatever. So she had to mail it all in. So according to them, at the OIRS and everybody else I'm talking to, they're super behind the mail-in portion is super behind so I don't know when or if we'll ever get our income taxes maybe we'll get them around Christmas and that'll help or in November by my birthday time new computer maybe I wanted to get the new Xbox when it come out in November but I don't know if I'm gonna get to I don't know if it's a smart decision to get one anyway because I don't play games really like I used to but what I really need is a new computer and I and the games that I want to play I can play on there anyway I mostly just wanted it for Halo and you can get all that stuff on computers so I may end up just going that route I'm on my computer 15 hours a day at least this is where I sit all the time, my desk. My wife sits right there in her chair and watches TV. Where she sits right there, outside that window, plays on her phone, smokes and drinks coffee. And I sit right here. Two monitors. Facebook's usually on one and YouTube's on another and... I'm just enjoying myself sitting here doing stuff you know
and all, uh, another thing, another subject. Of course, if you know my story, you know I have kind of some problems with my shoulder and stuff like that. And really, the only reason that I'm not working out is because of my shoulder. However, I've decided that I'm about ready to buy a few things. Nothing extravagant, nothing crazy like I used to have. But maybe some dumbbell, just some dumbbells and a barbell or an easy bar, easy curl bar, or cambered bar, whatever you want to call them. Something like that, and maybe a treadmill again. And I wore my last tread. I wore a. Blah, blah, I wore my last treadmill out. I used that thing all the time. Get that and maybe get a, a little bicycle trainer for my bike. I used to have one of those too. Back before I even started riding, I had a, a bike and I put it on there. and It was enjoyable just back then, not even knowing really what I'm doing or anything. Just sitting there paddling. But... Uh, I'm wanting to get a few things. Eventually, I'm not, you know, I don't expect to ever lift heavy or do anything great again. But we need to get some kind of strength training exercises in our daily routines. Because you get to where you can't even lift anything. If you fall down, you want to make sure you can get up. Or if your loved ones or someone falls down and hurt, you want to make sure you can help them up. You know. But I've been kind of researching, looking at stuff, trying to find stuff on Craigslist, and trying to look on the marketplace on Facebook. And I don't know. I'll find something. I just don't want to spend much because I don't have much. So. And, well, as far as my channel goes, my YouTube channel, I really don't know what to do anymore. It's not really growing anymore, that's what she said. <laughs> you know, I mean, I'm stuck at 140-something subscribers. I really don't get any kind of engagement. Um, there's no real traffic. I don't know. And although I don't mind, you know, I don't expect to have a huge channel. I don't care about that. But it would be nice to have interaction with the 140 whatever people, you know. You know, at least if I got 140 something views and likes and maybe a few comments, you know, it would it would seem more worth the trouble and the effort and and everything. Cause I enjoy it. I enjoy doing these videos, even this, sitting here eating, talking. I enjoy it. My everyday kitchen videos, my Grandpa Reads videos, drawing, photography, whatever I got out there. Stupid, uh, even my movie reviews and that, that, you know, aren't that great. Um, it's still fun. 
my video game uh, videos and just you know the different stuff I enjoy doing it but you kind of you know you go through these spells where you're okay and you're doing you know you feel okay and you don't really care about you know having a bunch of subscribers and views and comments and all that stuff but then you stop and you're like man is it really worth it is it you know does anybody care would it you know I can still enjoy these things and not put out videos I guess going into it, I was kind of, kind of ignorant to it, and just kind of maybe a little bit overexcited. And I thought this is gonna blow up and it's gonna do good, and I'm, I'm gonna do all these positive videos and and preach to people to get up, get out, get ready, do it to it, and I do all this different stuff, and I'm gonna blow up, and I'm, I'm gonna be popular and. You know, I'm going to be the next important channel out there, you know. It's kind of what a thought. I know it's stupid. But I guess I'm, I was just excited. But my expectations are low now. Now if I could just get my subscribers to just interact, you know, just those 140 some odd people, that'd be great. What do y'all think? What do you think about? What do you think about my channel? If you're watching this video up to now, all the way to now, what do you think about my channel? Am I a decent personality? If you go and watch my videos, am I decent? And yeah, I offer a huge variety of different videos. Again, I always will. I know the rule of thumb is to stick with one thing. I still don't think that that should hurt you. Just because you choose to venture out. And do different things. You know, I don't. I don't think that that should uh, harm your channel, but it does, I guess. Sometimes. Ah, oh, man. Well, anyways, guys, that's a long enough video. Hope you enjoyed watching me eat some shrimp. Basically, a video like this, you could start while you're eating and we could eat together kind of thing, you know. Makes it a little bit more interesting. Like we're eating together. Oh. Ah. Now let me refresh this page and see where I'm at on my uploading. 
72.5 gig. Whew. I must have slow internet. Slow, slow, slow. Anyways, guys, I'm going to drink me a Sprite, finish things off. Pretty good shrimp. I need to do a better job at deveining them. Sometimes I eat it and don't really care. I mean, really. It's a string of poop the size of a... What? A pencil lid? And a mechanical pencil? Eh, it ain't gonna kill you. Basically, it's just dirt. Anyway. Right? Anyways. I'll catch you on the next video. Right now, I do have plans. I believe. What's today? Today is Monday, right? Today is Monday. I have plans possibly Wednesday to go around that track again and try to run. I did have the domes for about three days after. What's domes? Delayed, onset, muscle soreness. That's where you work out or do something that you're not used to doing or maybe you're used to doing, but your muscles are very sore, like delayed response. Maybe a day or two later they start hurting. Well, mine started hurting that day. <laughs> but uh, I recovered, no big deal. Uh, like I said, Saturday I did go for a bike ride. I should have went for a ride before then a couple more times to really work. And it probably would have lessened things just a little bit, but... It's all good. I'm going to try and do that again maybe Wednesday. That'll be a week. I think I did it last Wednesday, which is the 17th. So, I'll probably do that. I'll get in another some bike rides. I might try and do another video. I'm sorry I don't do much different other than my normal roads that you see. Sorry about that. I don't do a lot of... I don't do traveling or anything. I don't do anything, anything like that. I just... Because if I did, I'm by myself. I don't have nobody to go with me. I don't have no friends. My wife don't ride. My wife don't do anything. My wife works all the time. We're off different times and all kind of stuff. So that's why you see me 99% of the time alone. <laughs> so and I don't do a lot of trail riding because the only trail that I have close, close to me is my town. Is the one that you've seen me do in town uh, across from the park. Uh, the which is a decent little trail, but you can only do it so many times and film so many times till it ends up just like me filming on the road every day. So, maybe one day before I get too old or I die, I'll get to go to a real bike park and do a little bit of some beginner stuff of some downhill, just simple things and do something fun and flowy and enjoy a trail ride. But as of right now, most of the trails that I know of are just basic going through the woods, you know. Uh, and, and, and I can do that right here in town, like I said, at that one trail, just riding through the woods. So it's not worth my time really traveling to some of these places. Anyway, I hope you enjoy my channel. Please, if you would, like, share, subscribe, comment. Help get my... Subscriber count up to a thousand. Let's reach a thousand. Let's try to reach a lot of people here with this. I try to be a decent positive uh, role model and uh, image for people on here. Uh, yeah, anyway. There's nothing else to say, right? Other than get up, get out, get red, do it to it. Even... While sitting here doing absolutely nothing but stuffing my face with some good old shrimp. And a Sprite. If you made it this far in the video, you're awesome. Guys, we'll see you later. Get up, get out, get ran, and do it, do it!